Welcome to the Concur Allocation training video. In this training video, we will explain what a Concur Allocation is, how to create one, and some tips and tricks for creating multiple allocations and indicating favorite allocations. Let's start with introducing what the Allocate feature does in Concur. An allocation is made up of two parts, the chart string that an expense is being distributed to and the amount to be distributed. Each expense within a Concur document automatically has a default allocation. This is the chart string information that is entered into the request header or report header when a document is created. With the allocate feature, users have the ability to change or replace the allocation for one or more expenses on the concur document in order for those specific expenses to be distributed to another chart string. It can also be used in situations where an expense will be distributed to multiple chart strings. Allocations can be made either by percentage or by dollar amounts. To allocate in a request, go to the Expenses tab. Select the expense entry that needs to be allocated to a different chart string to open the expense details and select Allocate. Then from this pop-up window, select the expense or expenses that you would like to allocate and select Allocate Selected Expenses. The chart string provided in the request header will appear as the first line in the allocation screen. You can select the allocate by button to switch between percentage or amounts. To add a new allocation line, so select add new allocation. Enter in the new chart string information, ensuring that the required fields, including fund and funding source slash expenditure type, if using a project and task are filled out. You can adjust the percentage of the amount of the allocation in the indicated field. Repeat the process until you have created all of your allocations. When you are finished, select Save. You will now see a pie chart icon of the expense indicating that it has been allocated. You can hover over the icon at any time to see a snapshot of the allocation. Please note that this expense report is not related to the prior request, nor is it fully complete. This re expense report is for testing purposes only. To allocate an expense report, select the expense or expenses you wish to distribute to another chart string and select Allocate. In the Allocate screen that pops up, you will see two tabs for percent or amount. Click on either tab to allocate either by percentage or by amount. You will then see the chart string from the report header and a percentage slash amount to the right. Select add to add a new allocation line. Enter in the appropriate chart string information, ensuring that all required fields, including fund and funding source slash expenditure type, if using a project and task, are filled out and select save. Repeat this process until you've created all of your allocations. When you're finished, select Save. Under the amount of the expense, you will see that there is an indicator that the charge has been allocated. You can click Allocated to see a snapshot of the allocation. Before we continue, let's go over a few key concepts for allocations. If you're charging expenses to only a single chart string, you do not need to use the Allocate feature. The chart string provided in the request or report header when creating the document will serve as the default chart string for all expenses claimed on the document. Consult with your fund manager or financial unit approver in determining whether you need to split the distribution of any of the claimed expenses and or what the proper chart string would be for allocation. If an allocation is charged to a different financial unit approver, then listed on the request or report header, both financial unit approvers will need to approve the document before it continues in the approval workflow. 
Allocations to multiple projects on a single travel or event request will create a commitment on each project once the request is approved. Lastly, be sure to include all necessary chart string information when creating your allocation. Fund is always a required value. If you enter in a project value, the task and expenditure type are required values as well. If your project is a sponsored project, the name begins with SP, a funding source will additionally be required. Here are a few tips and tricks to make allocation easy. To allocate multiple expenses at the same time on an expense report, check the boxes next to the expenses and select allocate. You will be able to allocate as normal and all of the expenses selected will be given the same allocation. You can also designate a favorite allocation for quick and easy allocating. Once you have manually entered an allocation on an expense report, check the box next to the allocation and select Save as Favorite. Enter in a name for your allocation and select Save. Whenever you would like to use this allocation in the future, start the allocation process as normal. Once you select Add, select the Favorite Allocations tab. Select the circle next to your desired allocation and select replace allocations. Additionally, you can select view favorite if desired to see the exact values of the chart string. F favorite allocations do not carry across concur profiles, nor do they carry from request to expense or vice versa. Lastly, if you would like to see an overview of the different chart strings a document will go to, you can view a summary of all of the allocations on the document. On a request, go to the main allocation menu. Select Summary, and you will see a pop-up on your screen showing the different chart strings that the estimated expenses on your request will be allocated to. On an expense report, select Report Details and then Allocation Summary. You will see the different chart strings the expenses on this expense report are allocated to. Thank you for watching the Concur Allocation Training video. We hope that you have found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions about these topics, do not hesitate to contact us at support.ucc.edu forward slash finance. Take care.